Hi and welcome. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if this is your first time here or if you're coming back, I am a homeschool mom of three young children, uh, ages one, three, and four. So we're just really starting this journey of homeschooling. However, I myself was homeschooled from kindergarten through 12. So I do have some experience in the world of homeschooling, just not in the world of teaching it. Um, but today I thought we'd take a little break from curriculum and that kind of thing and just kind of talk some fun read-alouds for young children. So picture book read-alouds, um, specifically related to Advent and Christmas. Um, and most of the ones I'm going to share are more Advent. They're more the story of Jesus, the story of his birth, Christmas carol themed. Um, but then at the end, I do have a couple of just Christmas themed for the fun of it stories. So I thought I would walk you through those and um, just kind of share some of the ones that we will be enjoying with our children this year. So the first one I have is called Nativity. And you'll see some stickers on these books. I do have some of these from the library, some of them are my own. Um, and I'm going to open the books up and just kind of show you a little bit of the artwork style inside so that you can see if you're interested. But I would say this one is probably the most accurate, most close related to just the story of Jesus. In fact, the wording is such that I would think it might have been directly taken as quotations of scripture, though it doesn't say that anywhere, so I'm not 100% sure, but it's very, very close. Um, and it just walks through the story of Jesus, and then towards the second half, after they give kind of a rough... It runs through... Um, it talks about how many people kept these things, or how, sorry, how Mary kept these things hidden in her heart, the things that had happened surrounding his birth. Um, and then it talks about he grew up a little bit, and it shares the Beatitudes, the blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are the uh, peacemakers. And I actually really like that. And the very last one, I believe, is, um, sorry, I'm going to, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God, bringing it back and tying it around to the birth of Jesus and those who came and saw him at his birth. So I like this one. It's very simple. The artwork is very simple um, and it's not a real long read, but it's a good one to run through with your kids. Um, the next three are more Christmas carol themed. So they have the words to various Christmas carols. So we have the drummer boy and I like this song. I think it's kind of fun. I think kids can relate to it of coming before you know, there's a big event, important event, and you come before the king and you don't have anything to offer because you're just a child. Um, and so I like the lyrics, but he did his best. He played his drum. He did what he could, and he offered his gift. Um, and so just kind of giving you a visual of the inside. Um, so really, it is just the lyrics to the song with some fun illustrations inside. And that is this one, Little Drummer Boy by Ezra Jack Keats. Um, and then we have We Three Kings. And this one is a totally different art style, as you'll see. Um, once again, it is just the lyrics to the songs, so no additional interpretation, but it has the verses. And I actually think this is kind of fun art to look at with your kids, just a totally different culture, totally different style. And then in between each verse, it has this same picture with the same lyrics of the O Star of Wonder, Star of Light refrain. And then it goes on to another verse with a different king traveling to see and I think it has the three different kings with their three different styles of entourage. And I think the art is kind of fun to look at. So that is the We Three Kings book. Um, and then the last Christmas Carol themed one is Silent Night. And once again, just the words to the song inside. Um, so you can add a takeaway, but if you just want to read the words, I mean, the words to these Christmas carols, the older carols are beautiful and really have some really good meaning. So I have no problem with that. And again, uh, another just completely different art style inside. So various people coming, it's the last night, and, and I think at the end it just has everybody in the nativity scene. And then I have two that are styled around the birth of Jesus, but from a much more fictional view. So they're from the view of the animals in the stable. Um, and the first one is the friendly beasts an old Christmas or an old English Christmas Carol. And this one, there's a few different versions of this with different artwork. So you could find the one that you like the best. Um, but it's basically the animals in the stable talking about Jesus's birth and talking about what they did and how they offered. So Jesus, our brother strong and good was humbly born in a stable, right? And so first it starts with a donkey. I said the donkey, I carried his mother all the way to Bethlehem, you know, and then, um, the cow says, well, I gave my uh, manger for the baby to lay in. And so it's just basically all of these different animals talking about what they did as their offering to the newborn king. Um, the doves cooed their song for him, you know, and so it's just kind of cute. And for, from, from a little kid's point of view, 
it's kind of a new take on the story. And no, it isn't tr accurate, it's fictional, but there is some truth behind it. Um, and then it has the tune if you want to try playing it and singing it as a family because it is actually a Christmas carol. Um, and then the next one is kind of similar in that it's coming from the animals in the stable who is coming to our house with this mouse talking about, oh, somebody's coming to our house, somebody's coming into our house. And so each animal does what they can to get the stable ready for whoever's coming for their, to their house, right? So one dusts the beams, you know, one sweeps the earth, one stacks the hay. And all the time they're wondering who's coming to our house. One opens the door, one lays them an egg, and then finally it's Mary and Joseph coming to the house and they all welcome them in. Um, so simple. Again, short. most of these are short reads. They don't have a ton of words. Again, my children are three and four, and so they don't want lengthy words. They want to look at the pictures. They want to enjoy and they like me reading, but they don't want like paragraphs of text on the pages. So those are my more, I think, leading up to Advent or religious themed about the story of his birth. What is the story behind Christmas? And then I have three that are just more of Christmas stories or fun Christmas themed book. Um, the first one is still kind of a religious theme, I guess, um, and it's called The Christmas Tapestry. And this one is a story about a boy who moves to a town with his family because his father got offered um, uh, to be the pastor in a new location. He's adjusting and he doesn't feel at home and he misses his old home. Anyhow, they're trying to make a community and they're going to set up a Christmas service on Christmas Eve and this massive storm happens and the back of the church gets ruined, has a big ugly spot that's ruined and can't be fixed before the service. And the boy is devastated because their beautiful service is going to be all messed up. Um, so they go downtown and he and his father are downtown and they see this beautiful tapestry that's Christmas themed tapestry and they buy it, they hung, hang it up over the back of this spot and it looks gorgeous. And over the course of hanging it up and having the service, they have a little woman come in who sees it and goes, where did you get that? And it ends up through her story that it was a tapestry that she had had at her wedding um, and had somehow lost track of. Um, and I'm trying to remember how they got separated. She and her husband somehow got separated and the tapestry got lost and she hadn't seen him since. And then during the service, a little man walks in and sees the tapestry and goes, where was that? And it was his wedding as well. And so in the course of the book, they end up bringing back together this couple that had been separated. So it's just a cute, pleasant story. It's got a little more reading than the rest of them as far as text-wise, but still, um, I think, an enjoyable read if, if that's the kind of one you're interested in. Um, and then we have <laughs> I, Carl's Christmas. And I just really like Carl books. Um, if you're not familiar with Carl books, this dog is Carl. And there's always a baby that he's watching. It's different ages and different books. Um, and his, the parents always go away and leave Carl with the baby for a short time and they always have adventures and get into trouble and mess things up. And then they always put things away neat and clean and always get back into bed and look like they're sleeping by the time the parents get home. But they are wordless books, so it's just the stories from the pictures. And I like the pictures. They're well enough done that you definitely know the story that's being told. But um, it also, because it has no words, it leaves room for you as the parent to say as much or as little as you want. If you want a long story, make it a long story. If you want a short story, make it a short story. Or hand it to your kid and let them read it to you because they can interpret. So it's kind of fun. I have liked, she had a lot of these books and this is just her Christmas themed one. Um, they end up helping Santa bring his gifts in and then at the end he carries the baby back up to bed and that's the end of the book. But they're just cute. They're sweet. They have good art and I just think they're fun. So there's that one. And then last, and just because I absolutely love Dr. Seuss, you have to include How the Grinch Stole Christmas to any Christmas um, list of picture books because I love Dr. Seuss and my kids love Dr. Seuss. I love how easy they are to read in the just cadence and rhyme of them and my kids think they're funny. Um, and so yes, we will be reading this with our children this Christmas and I'm sure we did last Christmas and probably will for several Christmases more. Um, and if all you've ever read is the, or all you've ever seen is the movie, um, they did a great job, but the book is just so classic. And so that would be my last. And just if you've never seen Inside Dr. Seuss, his art is uh, a little bizarre. Um, generally, there's like one or so colors that stand out and the rest is black and white. Um, but it's just fun and it's, it's really enjoyable to read because it is written in rhyme. Um, so this will be our final book. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. If you have any um, Advent or Christmas themed books that you guys really enjoy with your toddlers, please let me know. I would love to know that. 
um, and like and subscribe if you want to. I will be making another video in the next couple weeks with not Christmas themed, but just winter snow themed picture books to read with your little ones. So if you enjoy that, let me know and I will let you know when I have that out. Um, as always, have a great week and a wonderful Christmas season.